And there are some first results. Fantastic. Yes. yes. Ah. Yeah. You can see them? Yeah. Oh, is this, is, this a, is this your Pompeii instrument? Yes, that's, this is the Pompeii that's... instrument which is done by Peter. Wow. And so we've got today our first day with this instrument which is... Uh, wow, it's an experience and a uh, really historical moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so, operated by yeah. your Ritz. Yes. Oh. So that's yeah. that's one of the three large ones which Barnaby got here from you. Right. So right. I, I opened up the thread around the constriction. Yes. Because I needed to open up the constriction a little bit and to yeah. clean it out because uh, narrowing down so much had broken some of the fibers into the channel. Yes. So that, had, yeah. that, that was vital to getting them sound. Yeah. And then I did some yeah, sanding down and scraping down around the tips. So Barnaby told me that you'd rather like the tips to be a little more fleshy. But yes. I, yeah. So you, you, can, can I, can you put the reed, um, yeah, yeah, like that, perfect. Oh, it's still pretty fleshy. All right. Yeah? Yeah, right. I've, only, I've only seen those very raw things. No, I can try to see the, whether they still play. <laughs> yeah, <Sorry. laughs> They're closed at the moment and dried, probably. Yeah, they dried out a little <laughs> while we were having lunch. <laughs> those knobs but they're still too tight we need to file them a little bit down so that they turn more easily but the sure. basic basic yeah. idea is yeah you got your rings and you have to turn your knobs and use basically your index fingers to yeah. turn the rings yeah, yeah shut and open and do you use your pinky as well to do it at the bottom um thank you well Okay. Normally you'd, so I found it most easy to use the, the index finger. Cool, cool. I got, okay. I got very large only with sliders which would be over right with a small finger. But that's a different kind of movement, that's sliding them up and down and they go on rods and close up holes which are, yeah, 70 centimeters from the mouth. Walk on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, what did you do to my reeds to, um, how, 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 uh, how, 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 how efficient are they? How, 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 sorry? At the moment they're pretty efficient, I think. I haven't got a large problem of them opening up also while playing, because I also use a lot of pressure, flip pressure on them. 
to contact it, uh, but, right. but I'd still like to scrape them down a bit because they're still very hard for my taste. Okay. Ooh, Barnaby is probably off. fine with them, but, but his head is going to explode any moment oh. when he's playing. <laughs> <laughs>